Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jessica from UXRS, and today we're taking this delicious head of Napa and creating this budget-friendly meal. First off, what you need is a head of Napa cabbage, also known as Chinese cabbage, and this is approximately two pounds worth. Then you're going to chop and wash the Napa into bite-sized chunks. A cold skillet here. Before you put in your head of Napa, what you want to add is approximately one bowl, which is about one cup of water. This is just room temperature water that I got from my tap. You turn on the heat and then you add in your Napa cabbage. If you have some fresh ginger at home, add in two pieces of ginger. If not, that's okay. It's not 100% necessary. You can also use ground ginger, about half a teaspoon of that if you'd like. Give it a quick stir, put it on the lid, and then just leave it until the vegetables start wilting down. Vegetables will remove the lid, and then what you're going to do is you're going to give it a quick stir just to disperse it all super well, and it already starting to smell really really delicious we love napa in this house it's such an easy vegetable to cook very versatile all right the next part is a can of soup so here i am using cream of chicken soup you can also use anything from cream of mushroom to creating your own bechamel sauce if you have some flour and fat at home then now i'm going to add in half a can of milk you can use water if you're on a super tight budget or if you don't have any milk around but you could also use uh, vegetable stock or you can even use chicken stock at home that you make yourself from any kitchen scraps that you have. When it comes to a simmer, what you want to do is you do want to stir it occasionally and then you add your salt and your pepper according to your taste preferences. I do sometimes add some onion powder and garlic powder, but if you don't have it, that's okay. Just use what you have. Don't worry, it'll still taste delicious. Once again, give it a quick stir a root, but you can do a lot of different things with this. You can jazz it up by adding like a little bit slices of ham, any turkey or pulled chicken, but even just this, guys, I promise you, it tastes really, really good. Question, do you taste your food? Because I've heard some people, they add what they cook, they don't taste test their food. I have to taste my food. I don't know what I'm doing. So here you see, I'm adding in some garlic and onion powder just to kind of kick it up a notch. Again, if you don't have, that's okay. The canned soup actually has a lot of flavor in it. And so this is just an add-on. My whole family actually really enjoys this. Even Nathaniel will eat it if I cut up the vegetables small enough, but he really, really likes the sauce. So here it is, guys. Our simple and very, very budget-friendly Napa on rice. Mmm. The milk makes it really, really, really rich. Really flavorful. And it's just such a nice comfort food. And it's really inexpensive. So the Napa was 79 cents a pound. And this was approximately two pounds worth of Napa in the entire pot. And this probably has between four to five servings if you serve it with rice. So the Napa worked out to be less than $2, about $1.79 for all the Napa. And then if you're just doing a simple cream of mushroom soup or the cream of chicken soup, this whole meal would cost probably around $3. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know by giving this video a big fat thumbs up and let me know what's your favorite way of cooking Napa. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button as well as that little bell icon beside it so you never miss a video notification. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.